So hello and welcome to today's rushed but major Rockstar Games news video. Because one of the bosses of Rockstar Games, Dan Hauser, is leaving Rockstar Games for good. And this is something major that will affect Rockstar Games as a whole. Because Dan has been a major, major part of Rockstar Games since the very beginning. Writing the story to pretty much every single one of their games. Starting all the way back from Grand Theft Auto London, all the way to Red Dead Redemption 2, and pretty much everything in between. Bully, Manhunt, Midnight Club, you know, pretty much every single game. Now Dan will officially leave Rockstar Games in March 2020, but apparently he has been on a break since last spring. Now this news will have a negative impact on Rockstar Games as a whole, because out of all the people who made Rockstar Games what they are today from the glory days of the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2, we only have Sam Hauser left. As Leslie Benzies, another mastermind of Rockstar who also worked on pretty much all of their games from Grand Theft Auto 3 onwards, also left Rockstar Games on bad terms in 2016, which did actually end up in quite a few legal issues I recall. Now I'm not too sure what we can expect from this but it's really not good at all. Because if you've enjoyed any Rockstar game for the story, Red Dead, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Bully, whatever, Dan Hauser is partly to thank for that, as he was one of the main writers while Sam and Leslie were producers. So going forward we might start to see weaker stories coming from Rockstar in more upcoming games. However, this could also have negative impacts on stuff like microtransactions. Now I'm not 100% sure if Sam and Dan got a say in this, I imagine they did because you know they were pretty much the bosses of Rockstar games, but Take 2 could very easily hire a replacement for Dan who will have no troubles trying to implement more microtransactions in multiplayer. It really wouldn't be surprising to me if um, Take 2 did get somebody like that in, as the Take 2 CEO himself actually said that they're under monetizing the users. You know, shark cards and that, they're under monetizing us on that apparently. So, yeah, this is a rather dark day for Rockstar Games and pretty much every fan as a whole. I can only really hope that this won't have a major impact, but I definitely think it will. Because as I said, Dan was a major, major force behind some of the great stories Rockstar have produced over the years, and I feel it won't be the same without him. So that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, thanks for watching I guess.